welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the ultimate beginner's guide to city skylines by creating the city of Trattoria. And in this episode, I am really excited. We're introducing a brand new DLC, which was not something I ever expected to happen at the beginning of this series. We're introducing the airports DLC. Now, I have put together a series of videos, which you may have already seen with Paradox Interactive on the airports DLC. And you might have noticed that I built that airport here. And I've been building towards this incrementally, understanding that I was gonna release this episode, this very episode, and the next one this week. So I'm very excited to, to, to bring this to you. So what we're gonna to do today is we are going to demolish this airport right here and we are going to build an airports DLC airport. Uh, in the first episode today, we are going to build our airport and get it up to a, our passenger airport and get it up to level three. And then in the next episode, we are gonna build a cargo airport onto that airport. We're also gonna go through some of the things that have come with the upgraded base game and take a look at that as well. And by the end of this episode, we're gonna extend this highway over to our airport. And uh, that's really gonna help us get passengers over to our tourism district, which is feeling lonely over there. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get started. But the first thing we need to do is get rid of Concord Park and all this stuff happening over here. And I think that we're gonna take our our uh, monorail and actually take that back. Now, monorail is not a mode of transportation that can in integrate directly into the airport's DLC. Uh, so I'm going to scrap that as, as an option here. So let's just remove this stop. Oh got bodies <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna need to do something about that so that'll back us out to here we need to remove one of these stations and that'll rebuild we are perfect now let's get rid of everything that we've been doing okay so now we're back to square one we've got an empty area ready for an airport so when you are using the airports DLC the very first thing you need to do to build an airport is create an airport district by painting an airport area so when you paint this, the important thing to know about the airports DLC is that this particular district will level. So whatever height you get first is the height that your entire airport will be at. So you've got to choose wisely. So I'm choosing my road level and I think that that's going to be a perfectly good height. Now I might run out of soil and that's totally fine because now we have the ability to purchase soil. I'm going to make this fairly big because I'm going to have my cargo airport and my passenger airport be the same airport. You don't have to do that, but you can't unlock the cargo airport until you get to level five. So all or level three for your airport. So all things to keep in mind. Also, your airport cannot share a district with an industry. It this this supersedes it. So something to keep in mind there as well. And you see, I just had to buy soil. So I use this button here and I bought soil. I can also sell soil. Uh, either way, it costs you money, and that makes perfect sense to me. And in, in reality, it's expensive to dispose of soil, and it's expensive to get new soil. So after you're done leveling, you'll notice that there might be a couple of artifacts. Now, I know that I worked and got this, but somehow it got missed. Not a big deal. It's just a good practice to come back through and make sure that you're all level. And then you're going to have things like this, where we have a train line running through here, which is great because we're gonna build a cargo airport and it's really gonna benefit from that train line. But obviously we can't level that train line like we do everything else. So what I'm gonna do is pop back through here and just smooth this out. And even though I'm, I'm terraforming after the fact, the airport's DLC is completely fine with that. I'm gonna buy soil because I need some. I shouldn't have sold that. <laughs> that was more of a, a demonstration thing than anything else, but at this point, uh, I'll buy the soil, and if we need to sell some, we need to sell some. I'm just coming through and getting rid of some of these really steep cliffs that we have through here. That's not gonna be helpful for our airport, so no reason to keep those. Just come through here and hit these. With a little bit of the slope terrain tool. So one thing that I did not mention, uh, this build that I'm working on right now, will be inspired by the build that I put together for the Paradox collaboration, but it is not the same. Uh, that build was filmed a little bit separately and differently, and as a result, I just want this to be its own thing. Now that said, I think that there are things I can improve. I've looked at the comments on the Paradox videos, 
And what I've seen is that, you know, people want to see a longer runway and that makes total sense to me. So we're going to give that a shot. The other thing I'm going to do is try to combine the cargo and passenger airport. We'll give that a shot. If it doesn't work, that's not a big deal. That's one of the great things about this DLC is you have the ability to experiment, create something totally unique. So there we go. Now that we got this leveled, one thing that I like to do before I go through is get rid of all of these artifacts. Unfortunately, in the vanilla game, you're kind of stuck. Well, first of all, get some zoning, we'll get rid of that. Uh, you can't kind of sweep through here and take care of it. You got to do one at a time. So that said, if you hold your left mouse button, you can delete objects that are similar. So if I go after these rocks, I can take care of all of them. So I'm going to do that right now, and then we'll cut right back. Okay, so at this point, I have cleared a, a decent little area. It's not entirely clear, but we'll we'll clear that out as time uh, requires it, really. I mean, we don't, we don't need to go completely wild. Uh, so right now, we have a brand new airport, and we are at level zero. <laughs> no level, there's no terminal. So the very first thing I want to do is rename this. We're going to name this the Tutoria Metropolitan Airport. So to start this, we need to build a terminal build an aircraft stand and build a runway. So we're gonna start, we're gonna extend this road over and build a road that we can place a terminal on. Build that over. And I just wanna have a little bit of a loop through here. So let's send this up and I'll go up uh, 600, go over, send it down a bit, loop back around, do the same thing again. And then we'll come right through here. And then I'll change this to be two-way right here. And this is gonna be perfect to put our terminal on. Now that said, there is gonna be one slight issue. So first of all, we've got we've got a couple of terminal options. So we've got the classic style airport. So that terminal, if we take a look at it, it's it's fine. It's a pretty, pretty basic looking. We also have a modern style terminal and we have an ultra modern terminal. Now, I want I didn't I actually haven't built a full airport using the ultra modern airport terminal. So that's what I want to do. Now, the important thing to keep in mind with all of these, you know, the terminal, you're not going to see any additional attractiveness and the airports cost significantly more. So, uh, that said, it will be interesting to see if some things like here's the large uh, the large terminal, the attractiveness there is 100. If we go over here, it's 90, so it's slightly more attractive. And ultimately what that's gonna mean is you're gonna draw more visitors to your airport. So perhaps by, by going with the ultra modern airport, we'll, we'll see more passengers. So I'm gonna go with just a really basic one story airport terminal. And the reason for that is we're not gonna keep this long term. In fact, as soon as we have the ability to, which is gonna be level two, so fairly rapidly, we are going to build a brand new large terminal so with that in mind i don't see much of a reason to keep this around now if i and, and or go for a two-story terminal now if my goal were to have a moderate sized airport perhaps this is all that i need and you see just by placing the terminal i unlock a few things so i've unlocked the small hangar the modern control tower the airport hotel parked plane the ultra modern control tower the airport bus station aircraft stand. Now, as was mentioned just a minute ago, what we need is a terminal, an aircraft stand, and a runway. Runways are also unlocked now at this point as well. So to place the runway, we'll go into this menu right here, landing area and aircraft stands, and you'll see that we have runways and taxiways, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I'm gonna back this up. I deleted this road here, but I'm thinking that it's gonna be beneficial just to keep it. We're gonna redesign this entire airport along the way, so no reason to get overly fussy about the way it looks now. But the reason that I, I've, I've done this is one thing that you can see is I have a one-way looping road around here, and the small airport terminals do not allow for one-way traffic. So with that in mind, let's just work within the confines of the game. And we'll have a two-way road there. It's not going to be phenomenal, but it'll work just fine. And uh, while we're here, <laughs> one thing I want to do 
One of my absolute favorite things that comes with the update to the game is a whole bunch of new trees. So we have this California palm, just beautiful. We have a coconut tree. We have this generic date palm and, and a variety of other trees, live oaks, uh, you know, this boreal pine, you know, generic pine trees. These are excellent. And when we take a look, look at the atmosphere it creates. Just lovely. Makes a very interesting place. So we're going to just let that be for the now. We are going to do a little bit more with the base game, probably in the next episode. But right now, I just want to focus on the airport. So we need to get this airport running. So we have our municipal airport, and now we need a big runway, and we need to attach that to taxi stands and uh, to, uh, to, 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 to aircraft stands in a taxiway. So I'm going to start out with a runway and your runway can be as large as you want it to be. So I can come through here and I could really go wild with it. I could, I could have something monstrous. So we're going to go fairly large. Why don't we have something that really stretches the length of this? And I'm a little concerned <laughs> actually <laughs> with what I've done. The reason why I'm concerned is uh, you're going to have airport or airplanes basically landing on that road. So let's give that another try. So there's a couple of things to know about runways. So they have to be at least 25 units long. So if you see that it's kind of you get too small, won't get won't go. So but you, you can go and, and make these very, very long. And then once you've built it, you'll notice that there are a couple of spots where you can make connections. Now, this is the entry portion, so you can enter from either side or both sides, your call, and here's where you would exit. So if a plane were to land here, they would exit, and these are all one-way roads, so you have to make a logical connection to every aircraft stand. So let's pop in. We've got our aircraft stand here. A couple things we could do. We could just attach it right to the back of here and call it a day. There's no limit to the number that you can have here, short of the size of your concourse and your uh, terminal. So I didn't create a concourse here, just kind of left it as is. We could certainly pull this over and add to this. And these work exactly like roads. So I can come through here. Let's measure it out. We'll go, let's go 2990. I'll go down 260. Now, anywhere along here, I'm able to attach an aircraft stand now. So I could come through here and attach it directly to the back of this airport. I could say, I'm gonna start them over here and we'll see how things go as, as things evolve. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place a couple of them over here. You can get them fairly close, but if you spread them apart, the cement will actually, you'll see that, uh, that so that was a little bit too far, but let's, let's experiment a bit. Move it over. So now it looks like it's touching, but I could go very close. I could come up and be as close as that, and it'll still function and operate the same way, which could be helpful to you if you want to, uh, you know, really squeeze in more the airport. I'm going to spread these out just a bit. We're going to be redoing the entire airport a lot as we go through this anyway, so no reason to get super fussy about it. We're going to start with just two, and we're going to make our connection. So we'll start out, and what I'm going to do is create a parallel facility to the runway. And this will go in the opposite direction of the runway. And then I need to find a way to connect up to my aircraft stance. So I could use a reuse a node that's here. That would work just fine. I could even curve this if I really wanted to and try to connect it up that way. Now what I re really need to focus on. So here at the at the end of the runway, the, the airplanes need to be able to come back to the taxi stand or to the to the stands over here over to the aircraft stands and from the aircraft stands they need to be able to not just leave or not just arrive to them but also leave from them so that means that you need to have directionality here so if we have this we also need to be able to come back from another direction so that's going to change your design here a bit So this is a functioning airport once it has water and power, which we will give it now. And we're gonna place these water pipes underneath the roads where they belong. Although I will be, I will readily admit, this is a challenge with this particular DLC and you'll see why. So 
I need to be able to get to these aircraft stands. So I'm gonna place them around the building, which is completely rational in my mind. So we are running low on water and power. So when we've been uh, juicing our budget to get to where we're at. So we're gonna need to focus on that if we wanna get this thing going. We also need power here. So let's bring our power along. There we go, and now we should have a fully functional airport. That said, we should take a look at this and see what's happening. So this DLC works a heck of a lot like park life and like campuses. And the reason I say that is you have a passenger count that you need to meet and an attractiveness score to be able to reach the next level. And that's very similar to, you know, the uh, visitor counts or the student counts and attractiveness scores that you need in the other DLCs that are modular like this. So with that in mind, we are going to really need to focus on this. And the other thing that makes this complicated is that until you reach level three, you have expenses, but no income at your airport. And the reason for that is you can't found an airline until level three. So you have an incentive to really move quickly in leveling up your airport. So right now, we've got this airport, it's costing us a whole bunch. We will see benefits in that we will have more tourists and that's, that's a great benefit to our city, but it's certainly not the same as having uh, <laughs> you know, having an airline at your, at your airport generating passenger revenue. And notice that we had some landscaping through here, so cleaning that up just a little bit, we wanna keep this away from the runway if we can. Okay, so we are ready to let this thing go a little bit, and it's gonna take a little while for our first airplane to land here, um, and we, we know that we don't have any attractiveness, so we're gonna wanna focus on that right off the bat. So there are a couple of things in the very beginning that can increase your attractiveness. If we take a look at what we have available to us, we have a whole bunch of things underneath decorations, and decorative buildings. So we have things like small hangars, airport hotels, and then we have these parked air, air, airplanes. So what you'll notice is that there's an attractiveness. So here, this is 20, the airport hotel is 40, and the hangar is 40 as well. And you'll notice that I did not place uh, the ultra modern control tower. So this is something that again, helps increase attractiveness, but it's very expensive. So we are gonna place one of these. It's important uh, and not, not because it adds necessarily to uh, the functionality of your airport, but it does increase the attractiveness. The other way that we could have increased the attractiveness is we could have had uh, a policy, great maintenance, uh, which adds a land value bonus. We are going to have that at some point. Hotel discounts, which will give you a, a 200 point bonus to the attractiveness of your airport right off the bat. So that would get you to, to level two once you have your passenger count. Um, so with these two items, we've met our attractiveness, but we do not have passengers getting here. So let's focus on getting people to the airport as well. So right here we have our public transport menu and I want to focus on bringing transportation to the airport. So this can really attach anywhere on your airport. And you can see I could, I could pop it right here if I wanted to and have this connect directly up to this loop road, to this concourse. They'd be able to get off the bus, go directly to their aircraft stand and get on a plane. So that is the benefit of this. This is not a great location for it in my mind, but it, it's certainly something you could do. I'm gonna move it to the side and then we'll send this road down to our collector. And then from here, I'm gonna actually take this and modify the road that we have here. Let's add some bus lanes as far as we can. Now, we're not gonna be able to go the entire way. We have other things going on, but we can go part of the way. And even a little ways will improve the efficiency of your buses. So that's gonna be a benefit there. Now we have bike facilities going all the way along here, so that's a bit unfortunate. What I wanna do is create a bus route that is going to ping back and forth from the airport to downtown. So you create the, these bus routes just like you would any other route. So create a bus line, choose the stand you wanna go to, and then our location. I think we're gonna stop at a couple of places. First, we'll stop here in Chestnut Square at the, uh, or, or Orchard Square, <laughs> at this uh, 
I believe this is a monorail bus terminal with a couple of uh, metro stations next to it. So we'll stop there and then we'll go right down here and load up on passengers down at Union Station. And I'm trying to choose stands that are empty there as well. So now we've got this route that will help, but we should name it. But, but, but before we do that, let's, let's take a look at this. We've got our first airplanes coming in. They're very cool looking. They're very cool looking. And I think that we should uh, check out one of these as they take off or return. <laughs> Clearly I, I, I was, uh, I, I did not see what happened here. So these will uh, come through here. They'll, they'll park. This one must be waiting. Look at all those passengers coming into the city. And right now they're all driving because that's their only option, which is unfortunate, but that is the airport that we've set up. There you go. Airplane takes off, loading up with people, dropping off 32 into the city. Now you'll see I did not attach water over there. I have a line coming straight through the airport too. Probably not a big deal. It's not underneath anything. We'll send this through and I'm going to loop that. I like that a lot more. So now we can take a look and see what's happening with our passenger car. We're already at 202. So we're going to be able to upgrade this very, very shortly. So with that, I want to move on to our public transportation because we just created a new bus route, bus line 10. We're going to name this the airport route. And with that, we have the ability to customize to a few new vehicles. So we have the traditional, you know, the regular bus, the school bus, the biofuel bus, but we now also have an articulated airport bus, which has 50 passengers or a double decker, which has 60. So we're going to go with a double decker. I assume that this route will be very popular and you can already see we've got 90 passengers lined up here to use the route 50 here this is going to get even worse and then here on the opposite this is going towards the airport we've got 12. they're all bunched up they'll spread out over time and at the airport we've got nobody no one cares <laughs> apparently uh, but we could use these buses elsewhere too and there have been a few places in the build that i have said boy Things are really backed up. So right here in the Meadow District. So if we recall, this is near Monument Circle, going down to the ferry, going up by the casino. We can finally fix this. So I'm very excited about that and we're gonna do it. So let's pop in here and what you can see is I've just thrown a million buses at this, try to get it under control. It's working, but it's not working well. So we're gonna throw an articulated bus at this and then cut this in half. There's, we don't need 400% capacity anymore. We can take it down to two. That should do the trick. Maybe it needs a little bit more than that, but that should be uh, good enough. Now our water availability was lower than I would like it to be. So we are gonna add to this real quick while we're thinking about it, while we're over here. The nice thing is we've already set ourselves up in a situation where we can just add a couple of pumps quickly and be on our way. So our water taken care of there. This is a little bit trickier. We are going to need to expand this a bit, but that's okay. We can do it. Just want to be real careful that we're not disrupting our bike facilities up there. Then we'll take our key. I only want to have angle on. We'll just extend that out. And then we'll grab the bay and just pull it right in. There we go. And now I'm going to drop a couple more of these facilities over here. And we've leveled up to level two. <laughs> We're already there. We get a lot of stuff now. We get large air. We get a large hangar, luxury airport hotel. We get some large terminals and concourses, uh, metro stations, fuel stations, airport lounges, uh, aircraft stands for medium planes. So lots of, of really interesting stuff and we're going to actually dive in and go wild. I didn't want to go wild at level one because I know that most of what I've just done is not going to be saved and I'll show you why in just a moment after we take care of this. Let's get this built. I'm going to, I'm going to add two of these and then we'll extend our beautiful dirt road right to the end of there. Oh, that is ugly. That is not a beautiful dirt road. That is just a dirt road. <laughs> we don't want that. Let's get that fixed. This is probably all that she wrote over here. I don't know that we can add any more over here. So uh, we're going to need to find a new place 
for our sewage treatment in the future. I do also want to place one more of these waste collectors over here just to make sure that our bases are covered because the water coming out of here is not entirely purified, it's just close. So this will be much better. We remember what the bay looked like and it was no good. We don't ever want to come back to that. So okay, Trattoria Metropolitan Airport is now a level 2 airport. To get to the next level, we need an attractiveness score of 1,000, so 5 times more than before, and we need 5,000 passengers. Now interestingly, we're seeing that passengers really aren't our, our, our limitation anymore. We could just continue trucking along as we have, and we will reach that next threshold. But Trattoria Metropolitan Airport senses that a significant expansion is necessary to continue the growth of the community. So we are going to do that right now. And pause this for just a moment and get rid of this terminal. And this is precisely why I said that I'm not wed to anything that's happening right now. So airports rebuild all the time, uh, not entirely, <laughs> but but they certainly have many additions or reconfiguring. Uh, so you could incrementally improve this. Perhaps I, I should have. Uh, is, is certainly a critique I could I could see, you know, set my way, and that's fine. We all have our own ways. For me, I'm really excited to come in here with a fresh palette and a fresh set of eyes and do something entirely based around this large concourse, uh, this large terminal. So I'm going to start out by finding an angle that works well for me. And you can feel them when you're placing these, it's kind of clip into place. Now, one of the reasons I really love the large terminals is they are one way. They have two levels of one way traffic. And what we're going to do is use that to our advantage. Let's come through here. We'll send this out and then I'll use my curved road tool to make a very clean connection here. Now I can send this down here and start to send this down. Okay. So what I've done here and I'm just double checking everything. So I have this looping around now. I could, and what I might do is actually pop this up and have this bridge connect in just a bit closer. This is all personal preference. It would have functioned just as I had it set up, but I think we can clean it up, make it a little bit nicer. So now we have these new, this large concourse or large term air, airport terminal. And you might wonder what the benefit of this is. So one of the first things to do when you click and you see that there is actually a metro station built right in here. So that is one of the first things that's a huge benefit to using this asset. So I'm going to send this down. We'll go down roughly 4,300. We're not going to be able to mirror this perfectly anyway. We're going to do something a little bit different this time around. So we'll have hubs coming off here. We could also, if we wanted, have a terminal out here and then have some concourses coming off and connect those with Metro. That's certainly an option, and one that I'm open to in the future. In fact, maybe we'll just be open to that right off the bat. So I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna limit my ability to have stands through here in the future. And then we'll add a couple of concourses here as well. So this is gonna be very expensive, but it's gonna we're gonna be able to continue to expand onto this indefinitely for quite some time. So there we go. Uh, the very first thing I want to do before I forget is to connect these up and I'll even create a short route. So this is just going to ping back and forth so that passengers can get back and forth between the two of these. So you might have ridden something like this at an airport. So our water pipes are all messed up. <laughs> That's to be expected. Let's go through here. We'll clean this up a little bit. And our airport's no longer functional. We are going to have to solve that in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is just run water pipes here and then we'll run them along the side of the building. And then we'll run them back here up to our new building as well. So there we go. Now we've got our bus terminal over here. It's not really doing anything because it's not connected up to a building. So we'll connect that over here. We'll need to adjust that bus route in the future. We'll make a connection into this road as well. So one of the reasons I'm a fan of moving this back is it gives us some opportunities to do something over here 
that perhaps we wouldn't have in the past. And one of those things that we're going to do is build a little residential neighborhood over here, uh, you know, for airport workers and things of that nature. You see neighborhoods like that spring up all the time. Let's see if we can move this stop. And then we'll extend our transit road just a little bit further down. And we need to make a power connection, so we'll do that as well. There we go. Now, the big question is our airport. How do we make this thing function again? So now we have small aircraft stands and medium. And I look at these as, you know, the little... Uh, the little routes that go from town to town versus the routes that go from moderate sized airport to large airport. So we're going to have some of the puddle jumpers over here. I'm going to try to line these up with the edge of the concrete just to keep things even. And we're going big. We want lots and lots of passengers. Let's also have some medium aircraft stands. We will attach these over to our new concourse over here two each. We'll try to line these up as well, as best we can. So now we have these all lined up. I guess we don't have water to the concourse with that, or to the, uh, to the terminal. Hopefully that does the trick. We also need it over here. So let's pop out. We'll run these along the outside. The other way you could do it and you know, a way that uh, I have done it is just to simply run the water pipes underneath these airport buildings. Uh, it's really a challenge, but I would look at this as private infrastructure anyway. So even though I like water pipes underneath the road, private infrastructure can go wherever. You don't need an easement for private infrastructure because you own it. You're the private entity, so <laughs> why not? So I will deviate a bit. We'll put a little bit underneath there. There we go. Now let's get our taxiway set up. And you know, reasonably, you could think about reorienting this airport. This is not the ideal setup, but it is what we have right now. We could even build another runway if that's what we wanted to do. For the time being, I'm going to not do that. Now, if your nodes don't line up perfectly, what I like to do is just delete that runway, find that connection right there. So you need to make sure that you have your road guidelines on, and then you can make your connections after the fact. To the, to the runway that you were struggling with. So this is a fully functional airport right here. This will work. So we will keep that going and then we'll connect these up as well. And it's gonna be the exact same situation over here. It doesn't like what we're doing. So we'll just find those road guidelines and use those as the way that we bring this all together. Hopefully one of these will work. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking promising, <laughs> so we'll need to take that back. Not a big deal. And then we need to make sure that our circulation patterns make sense. You can get in here, leave there, get in here, leave there. We are good. So we're back to a level one airport. <laughs> There's a, a bit of irony to that, but that's where we're at. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we left enough space to get back to and from this. Let's test that out right now. So this is what I was afraid of. Oh, oh, I think I might've lucked out. Okay, we do have the ability to run two bi-directional set of taxiways here. I'm gonna place those right now, even though we don't have anything happening back here just yet. And part of that is gonna be for some of the assets that we're gonna add back here, some of our decorations. So we've got this running again, we could, Call it a day. We, our attractiveness score, not even high enough to get to level two now. We've got to add a couple of things back in. So let's go ahead and add in our aircraft terminal uh, or our, uh, our control towers. We'll add two here. Uh, I am not a professional airport designer, so I could be placing these in a wildly inappropriate location. If they are in a wildly inappropriate location and you work at an airport, Let's say you work at airport air, aircraft control. Please let me know. I want to know if I'm doing this wrong because uh, it will help me improve. And that that's what I want to do here. So there we go. 
Now there are often garbage problems here. It's gonna be really important that we beef up our garbage collection in this area, oddly enough. Uh, and perhaps it's not oddly enough. If you think about it, an airport would have a ton of garbage being generated by its passengers. Everyone buying, uh, you know, Chick-fil-A on their way to the airport uh, or on their way to the plane decides to have their lunch in, you know, disposable materials, drops it off at the airport. Thankfully, we've got this garbage truck here doing uh, doing the work that we need to make sure that this is, is a clean area. So... We have some other transit options as well, so we can take a look at those because we need to be able to get people to the airport and these will also add uh, to our passenger volumes because of that. So right now we just have an elevated metro station. Maybe I shouldn't dis just say just, but it is one of our options. So we don't have any other elevated metros in the, in the, in the system, but we're gonna add this. Then we can go to our metro and what we're gonna do is cross the road here so I will send this straight across. And then I wanna line this up here, and then we're gonna drop it down, and then go underground. And now I'm gonna use the curved road tool to make a really nice connection across here. Back that up just a bit, curved road tool. Lovely, lovely, lovely connection. There we go. Now. We could also take this, and depending on how we set this up, we could have tried to make a connection into our terminal. That's not gonna be possible with where I've placed this, but it's not a big deal. I'm using uh, everything happening on the inside. Uh, maybe it is possible. Nope, it's too close. Um, I could have definitely, definitely, definitely made a connection between the two of these. I just don't see it as a huge priority. People can walk to get from the concourse over to here as long as I make the pedestrian connections necessary to do so. So we're gonna need to make sure that we have those pedestrian connections. And where I want to reach is actually way over here. There, really our closest connection. Unfortunately, it's in the wrong direction, <laughs> which is just something that we're gonna have to contend with. And it might just accept a little bit of imperfection here. And rather than trying to reuse this, we'll just accept a little bit of uh, crossing traffic there. So I'm gonna add a stop here that the transfer between the lines, but this gets them a connection into the monorail system, the train system, and the metro system, the greater metro system. So it's a great transfer opportunity, significantly better than the bus in terms of speed, but I think we can improve this even more. So if we take a look, and we look at our train or at our metro. We have our new metro line. We'll name this the Airport Express. And what we can do here is take a look and have an Airport Express metro. This is slightly faster, a few more passengers, and it'll ping back and forth really nicely. Now this makes things nicer. Uh, we get we got more passengers. Our attractiveness score is a little under halfway to where we need to be, and our passenger count is rising quickly. So we need to start thinking about how we make this an attractive airport and we do that with assets from the dlc so we come through here into decorative buildings and i want to get some large hangers so what we can do is there's a couple things that we could do we can look at our taxiways come through here i know that we're going to need to have roads parallel to here so i'm going to add those right off the bat I also know that these roads are kind of the lifeblood of the airport, so we're going to give them the priority they deserve. We're going to use the curved road tool to make those connections so they're nice and even. We'll add aircraft stands here in the future, but what I want to do is add something else. So what we can do is add decorations along here. So we could add some aircraft hangers. Now we didn't respect our topography, <laughs> and you can see what has happened. So, well, we might want to think about a better location for those. In fact, why don't we add some of those on the other side? Actually, I don't, I don't, I don't love that. We are going to continue over here. We will figure it out. So what we're going to do is add a connection over here. Get rid of these temporarily. We'll add another connection over here. 
Now I want these to be approximately the same, so that was 150. We'll come over here, make that 150 as well. And then we are gonna try to mirror this connection. That is pretty nice. So we can also come through here. We've got some weird node issues happening. So I'm gonna back that out, connect this down, and then make our connection. Do the same thing here. Now we've got some nice nodes. That's what everyone wants, nice nodes. So <laughs> now that we have our nice nodes, we can come through here. We could add these. And truthfully, we don't even need this row. We just need a, a way to access it. So let's pop back through, try to line this up very nicely. Let's also look at our terrain. We'll back this out. We'll fix this later. We'll back it out for now. We are loaded up on soil. We could sell it if we wanted to, but we don't need to do that just yet. It's saying that I'm outside of the airport area, so we'll extend that just a bit. Too much soil, so I've got to sell some of my soil to extend this out, not the end of the world. The primary reason I'm moving this is that they were just a little bit off skew and it bugged me. <laughs> not really a necessary move, but one that makes me feel better. Uh, the next thing that we could do is go through. These have added, let's take a look at what it's added in terms of our attractiveness. These have added 80 each. That gets us a little bit closer, but we're not quite there yet. We could add some small stands as well. And we could even add some park planes. Let's say we knew that we were never gonna have aircraft stands here. We could just add some small park planes and add some faux, some faux uh, uh, taxiways heading up this way. We could even move this down here and line it up there. I don't know that this is a very good location for this. This is way too close. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I like it further out on the fringes, but it's all options that you could take. Now I'm not 100% sure when I'm gonna connect this taxiway up to anything significant. So I'm gonna just loop this right now so we get rid of those blinkies. And let's go ahead and make these loop in the right direction. There we go. So now we've at least made some connections through here that make some logical sense. We can make as many connections as we want through here. There's no wrong or right. But we've got some activity here and we now need to make sure that things are reaching our next attractiveness threshold. So I want to build this neighborhood out a little bit here and add some airports, uh, airport hotels to it as well. So let's take a look. This is within our airport district, so we should be perfectly fine to add some airport hotels here. So first things first, I'm going to add a residential area here. So let's add a road here and make a nice connection in here. It's probably a little bit too close since this is a collector. Send this up a block, back this out, use our curved road tool to make a beautiful turn right in there. There we go. And I'm gonna add a frontage road here, basically, more or less. And then we'll curve right in here, make a nice connection. Not so nice right there, but that's okay. We don't need this to be absolutely perfect. Now, we've got a couple of connection lines right there already, so I'm going to reuse them. And I'm just trying to make a roadway network through here that makes some logical sense. There's This is not an art, or this, <laughs> this is an art, not a science. So don't feel like I'm doing something that is absolutely, you know, mandatory for you to do or, or whatnot. I'm just going with what feels right and good for me. And I, you know, sometimes that can be your best compass. Does it feel good? Does it feel natural? Does it feel normal? If it doesn't, it's probably not the right thing to do. So here we go. I can now get rid of this power line, which will give me more development opportunities, which is what I was looking for. We're gonna have some commercial along this road. To me, that's a, a, a use that has a lot of uh, benefits in this area and it would really thrive along this route to the airport usually commercial users are looking to see the AADT uh, along a roadway so that is the the actual m number of vehicles that they would see on an annual average so they are interested in that they won't even look at a property often unless it meets certain thresholds 
Um, chains are notorious for this. They will say that it must be a collector and it must have an annual average daily traffic volume of X. And if it is anything less, they don't even consider it. They have their metrics and they're sticking to them. So that is uh, something to keep in mind. So this would eventually have a very high traffic volume. So we'll come through here with some commercial. And there'll be some, some really nice synergy here as well with the hotels that we'll place here. Now these aren't just props, these are live hotels. So we've got this budget airport hotel. We're gonna place that right along this road here. Not exactly where you wanna stay <laughs> right along the road, but we'll place a couple of these here. Now I place three of them and you'll see we get some different colors. I wanna mix this up, so I'm just gonna move that blue one. There we go, just liven it up a little bit. Blue, red, blue. And that takes our attractiveness all the way to 710. We're also gonna build a luxury ho airport hotel, which unlocks at level two. So we've just now unlocked this. We'll, we'll tuck that behind it just a little bit. And we'll have some offices closer by. More of a professional area. And we'll transition our density up a bit. So it'll step that density up, which I think will be a nice transition now we need to get some water pipes here apparently that's not doing the trick oh that's just power <laughs> so we're fine so our power connections will be made in a little while but we don't have them now so i'm going to add a temporary connection through there and i'll break it immediately as i extend this road which i should have done because now our hotel is obstructing this there we go nice road through there We'll just pull this back a little bit so there are other options for increasing the attractiveness of your airport so there are some miscellaneous buildings that's not gonna it's just a decorative fence let's see uh, once we reach level three we'll also have an aviation museum and an airport headquarters building for now the only thing that we can do is add things like this airliners lounge which is a neat building oh we'll need to add some water pipes there as well so you can pop this airport lounge basically anywhere on a concourse. So you could say, I want people to look at this road. <laughs> More likely, you're going to say, I want people to be able to look at the airports taking off. So there's a place that is one of my favorite restaurants in the world. I mentioned it. It is an airport lounge. Uh, so you come through there, you sit down, you have some pancakes, and you watch the airplanes take off. Such a cool idea, feels very uh, exclusive. I mean, it's not, anyone can go there. Uh, it's Pat O'Malley's Jet Lounge in Madison, and you can watch cargo planes and uh, passenger planes take off, or military jets, very cool, very, very cool. Or, and uh, most of it's, uh, a lot of it's private, private individuals as well. So here we go, we're doing just fine. Now, one thing I've noticed about our airport design that's less than ideal, you might notice it as well. Maybe you've already noticed it. You can't loop back around in here. So we probably should add another taxiway through here. So once you come here, you can exit, but you can't do anything else. So we should probably add another return facility through here to give the maximum number of options. I'm gonna disconnect all of these as we add this parallel facility. It is not a fan of my distance, so I'm going to spread this out just a little bit. And now we have enough space. Okay, so lots of making sure that things are going in the right direction, that things are perfectly lined up. But what you can see is there's a circulation pattern here now that makes sense. You could come all the way down here, decide you need to come back this way and taxi there instead and you can do that. So that is the benefit of doing this. Couple other things that we should take a look at. Let's first again, we'll take a look. 150 away from being where we need to be. So we'll get there, but I wanna add to the population out here. So let's go ahead. We are going to add to this area. And this out here will be fairly residential. And we really need the residences at this point too. 
And this will be a little note of activity here near the airport. You'll sometimes see these transportation oriented developments or transit oriented developments out near airports little airport cities. I know that Denver uh, built one of those where you see a whole bunch of uh, density near Denver International Airport. And one of the reasons for that is there's just a lot of jobs at airports and a lot of people that need to go there every single day. There are detriments and drawbacks to living near airports. Uh, number one being lots of pollution, uh, but there are benefits of living near your job as well. So some people will decide that that is worth it to them. I'm guessing if you're a pilot, that might be your call. You'd rather live near the airport, you get limited time at home. So uh, make the most of it by living close to work. Now the other thing to consider is there would be a height restriction here. Now this right here doesn't make any sense. In fact, the cone is probably pretty big. So I would want to keep that... <laughs> Boom, yeah, that's not going to work. So let's take that down. So as much as I would love to have higher density here, I can't do it because of the heights associated with the airport. It just uh, is what it is. So not much you can do about that. Truthfully, those zones, those you know airport height restriction zones are generally very, very, very large. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this even more extreme. Maybe we don't have any density over here beyond this building. So I'm gonna build a little area around the airport with fences, and I'm gonna use the grid to line this up. Actually, I won't, I'll use angle, and that's about it. And then down here, I will follow the dirt line on the road. I find that to be a very good line to follow most of the time, and switch back between curved road tool free form and then the straight lines. And now I won't inadvertently zone along here, which is my main concern. And I'll turn angle back on to make a nice clean angle here. There we go. And I'll probably want to fence around the entire airport at some point. Look at that huge runway. Love that. Love that, love that, love that. So this will help us rebound our population a bit. You see that commercial is really what this area is screaming for. So we will continue to build that out. Industrial as well, which could be offices. And we're going to leave this road completely clear because we are going to build our cargo airport back there in the future. In fact, I am going to call a little bit of a mulligan back here because we want to send a collector up this way. And then we'll do just a little bit of vanilla traffic management. And I should just probably set this as a priority road and save myself some time when I'm adjusting all of these signals. There we go. And this is this this is probably not warranted. So why don't we just turn this off? If you're exiting, you've got to stop. But if you're coming in, free flow movement through there. Perfect. All right, I am digging this. I think this is moving in a good direction. But we are just really struggling with our demand at this point. So what I'm going to do is try to resolve some of that demand. I think that we need some offices. And I'm going to look for some places to retroactively zone in the downtown area. And I see that there are some areas over here where we have some lower density commercial right by downtown. Let's change that. And then over here near campus, I think this would be another area to start targeting some more density. But I will be thoughtful about the density, add in a mix of uses, a couple commercial users through here but mostly residential. And the campus will now act as that buffer that steps down our density from the downtown area, which to me makes perfect sense. So I've grabbed a couple of lower density buildings. There are still some through here. I could take them all out if I really wanted to. Probably just try to fulfill the need that we have. So there we go. I'm going to let this run for a minute and let some of these this stuff fill in. Okay, now that we mostly built that over here, I'm going to look at this other area that's a 
park in a low density downtown and we're going to upzone that as well. So we are going to basically wipe everything out down through here. Now in a normal rezoning process, that's not how that would happen. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, it, it can. Uh, certainly there are times, you know, where, where a developer will buy an entire neighborhood and wipe it out. Most of the time, the zoning will change uh, or it'll go through a comprehensive planning process. The future land use in a comprehensive plan will change and over time as um, new developments occur they'll try to become compliant with the new plan and through that you'll see new rezonings and things of that nature as well so i think that office makes a ton of sense near the university you would see different sorts of businesses spring up that are related to the university or founded by former professors former students so that's what we're going to imagine happening right here it's a district related to the campus. This right here might be student housing. It's gonna really boost up Yumble U. And over here, this will help us fulfill some of the needs that we have down here with commercial and office. Not so much commercial. <laughs> we'll have a little strip of commercial here, but uh, this will help a lot with our office and industrial need, which in turn will help us reach our population goals. Now back to our airport. We are just a little away from reaching our attractiveness threshold, and I think that there are some easy things that we could do to reach it. First, we could add some aviation fuel stations. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to add this road here, is if we add anything here, I think that we, even if, even if these aren't actually active facilities that are used, I think it's important to have them appear to be functional. So what I mean is these are decorations. They don't do anything for you in the game. You don't gain anything besides decoration bonuses, basically. So you're doing this really to, to meet the attractiveness needs of your, of your airport, no, nothing more. I'm a little torn about where to put this. And it, with good reason, we're just running out of space because we've constrained ourselves with the way that we've laid out this runway. So that's always something to be mindful of. As you set up your airport, your runway is certainly a constraint. I wanted this to be as long as possible, which meant that I had to go diagonal with the space that I had, or demolish some of my lumber industry, or move the rail line. All very challenging options. So we went with this, and it makes it very difficult to do much of anything else. So what I think I'm gonna do is place the airport fuel right here. I'll try to back that up as much as I can from the runway and away from that terminal. I'm sure that there are distance requirements, but uh, this is what we're going to go with. This is an asset that you could actually place outside of your airport too if you really wanted to and have them drive in. Uh, that is not something I'm super interested in. So we're going to add that right back here. Let's also get this water taken care of back here. And then we can also... So this, now we are 110 away. So we can start to do a little bit of math. These medium stands, if we place three of the, four of these will be where we need to be. So let's place a couple of these. We won't have anything happening behind here. We'll place a couple of parked, <laughs> there we go, we're at level three. Uh, a couple of park medium stands back there. So this gives us the aviation museum, the train station, cargo airport, the airport headquarters building, aircraft stand, car, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So we can we can have now we have large airports, a cargo airport, trains, and we have some unique buildings, and we can finally start our airport. Uh, our, 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 we could finally f build our own airline, which means that we'll be able to generate an income. Right now, we're generating sixteen thousand six hundred and fifty-one dollars per per month in expense, and that is uh, or weekly rather, which is causing us to lose money rapidly. So that is not a good situation to be in. So let's go ahead. I'm going to add a road back here. Everything I did, just did right here, totally unnecessary. This is really just to create an atmosphere. I just want it to feel like it's part of the airport. Now, now that we've got this running, we can add on to our airport, do a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is look at my aircraft stands. Let's get some large aircraft stands over here. Helps to be in the right menu. <laughs> and we are going to add just a couple over here. 
and I was on the cargo one, so it just wasn't taking it. Makes sense. <laughs> so we'll pop a couple of these in here, and what you'll see is that I can't fit more. <laughs> That's it. So what I am going to do, let's back this out, place it on this side, then we'll line up the edge of that loading vehicle with that line, and I'm going to extend this out just a ways, just a little bit, so we can try to fit an extra one in here. Now, I don't know that it's going to be possible until we have this next tile, which I, I don't even know when that's going to be, if we even get that tile. So let's give it a shot, though, see what we can do. So we got them in. We just want to make sure that our roads are actually going to connect. Slope to steep. That is surprising to see. So let's take a look at our terrain. Sure enough, we are raised up just a little bit on this concourse. It's messed everything up for us. So we need to go back to the drawing board on that one. So everything in the airport's DLC will be very sensitive to heights. So that is not at all surprising that it did not like that. Now we'll get our taxiways in place. We are good. We are good. We'll need to do a little bit of finagling to make this work. And again, that's just making sure that things are lining up as they should. Really use those, those guidelines to your advantage. So now I just need to make sure that all of the roads are... The circulation makes sense. There we go. We'll come in through here and leave through here. There we go. And those immediately start operating as soon as it works. So we're at level three. Level three is the end of the road. We're just barely over our attractiveness threshold, and we could call it a day here if we wanted. We could look at this, add in our hotel discounts, great maintenance, raise the value of this area. Why don't we take a look at what that actually does? So you can see that this immediately turned blue. Turn off great maintenance. Great maintenance boosts the land value, takes it down. So we'll put that up there. Car rentals will increase the tourists that use cars. We don't want to do that. Hotel discounts, we've increased the attractiveness by 200. We'll take that one. That one's okay. We want people to come here. And then there are a few other decorations that I think could be beneficial. Maybe another airport lounge over here. And there we go. I'm pretty pleased with how that looks. Now, the one thing I want to do is let's add some trees on this road coming into the airport. And one of the great things about this new DLC pack is that we can replace the trees just by hovering over a road that has trees and replacing it. And that can give you this really tropical looking roads, which I just, I just love that. Just love that. So the other thing that we can do now is work on placing some of our unique buildings. So that's the airline headquarters building and the aviation museum. So I think the aviation museum would be a really nice fit coming into the airport. Unfortunately, we just don't have the space. So we'll have to sneak that somewhere else. And that somewhere else will be using eminent domain. I really strongly dislike placing buildings that will generate traffic onto collectors. It does happen. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that you've seen a million examples of it, but it doesn't, it's not a great practice in reality or in the game, but we're going to go with it. There we go. So we've got that. And the last thing, oh, we are missing water through here. The last thing that we need is our aviation headquarters, and maybe that'll fit in that space. It would be a nice looking building to have there as well. That'll fit very nicely. So I could either, you know, this doesn't necessarily need to be there. I could put this anywhere. So I could go, we're going to put this downtown. Let's go ahead. And if we take a look at our zoning, got a lot of low density zoning here. There's a park. There we go. And we will add in some high density around here. So let's add in some roads. And then we'll increase the density around here a very targeted way. So now that we have this, this gives us an opportunity at our airline. A very, very big opportunity. So we come back over to our airline 
and you see that the air the, to our airport and the airline tab opens up. Now what this allows us to do is create a new airline and we're gonna make Verde Air. We need to make that green, it's Verde. And obviously it should be palm trees. So there we go, Verde Air going straight to Verde Beach and our projected ticket income is 16, or is 11,145. Now if we look at our expenses, we're at 26. So maybe we wanna boost this up. We'll go to 100. We'll see what that does for us. I'm not quite sure how long it's gonna take for that to, uh, to adjust, but we are seeing our income now, which is very helpful. So we could certainly, you know, really, ah, high cost carrier. Crank it all the way to the top. Let's take it to 125. We'll see what that does. There is that attractiveness modifier. We don't have anything right now. And I'm curious if we take this down to zero, $8, no difference. I'm gonna play with that one off camera to see what happens, but we'll take it, we'll do 125 for a ticket right now, 126, 125. <laughs> and hopefully that will, will help us out a bit. And at least this balances our budget a little ways. And I, I wanna jazz this up and make it more attractive, but for the time being, I want to just get us to our population threshold, which we, at, at this point, we're, 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 we're a ways away from it. So where we're gonna do that is over here. I think we're gonna build a little bit along the beach and transition into some residential uses. Our residential demand is still low, which is unfortunate. We do have water pipes all the way along there. Nothing will get built along, no roads are gonna pop up through here, so I'm very comfortable just adding housing all the way across. And I won't build on the beach too much. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll add in some more over here as well. There we go. Lots of new residential. All already has water. And once this builds, so we should build an interchange here. That's not a today thing. That's maybe a next episode of the following thing. Uh, right now, my main concern is getting 75,000 because that will be our next population milestone. We'll be able to extend our highway connect up right here and that's going to be huge we'll also be able to buy at least part of the tile here let me see we'll get part of the tile here and maybe be able to make a connection in closer to our airport with a collector or arterial this right here i'm really hoping it's going to be on the edge but i'm really hoping that we can so what i'm going to do is let this run for just a minute because i think that we are going to naturally hit our population threshold at this point We are just about to hit our population threshold, but I noticed something as I was staring at this section. We have a little segment of bike lanes that are missing, so I'm going to fix those right now. Perfect. <laughs> so we're about a hundred away, and I'm really excited because we're going to be able to build our new segment. So we're just going to get started on that right now. We have a little bit of highway here that we didn't connect up in our last one, so let's get that connected. And then we are going to build a custom ramp here eventually. But for the time being, I just want to cross and try to make a connection up with our new airport. And there we go, Megalopolis. We have hit it. And that gives us the international airport, the cargo airport hub, which is funny. <laughs> we don't want those right now. We also have some new monuments and the most important thing, a new tile. Monuments, uh, we'll get to those at some point in the future. We don't want to focus on that too much right now. Let's go ahead. We'll buy that tile for 30,500. What a steal. And that's going to give us exactly what I was hoping for. A lovely connection right here. So we will upgrade this and bring the highway over here. Now, this is going to be a very important connection in the future. So I'm going to raise this up three notches. It's not enough. Our highway could certainly use some cleanup over here. Okay, so I've just tried to make... Oh, oh that's not even. So I've tried to take this, go 12 out, and really mirror things nicely. We're going to bring this over a little bit further as a highway. Because remember, this highway is very fast. 
and then we're gonna transition into this collector. So I wanna go right in the middle if I can, just trying to perfectly line that up. Then we'll use our curved road tool to bring this in, grab our highways and our free form tool, just make our quick connection. There we go. Now we need this to all make sense and go in the right direction. There you go. Now you can get all the way from the airport over to this area. Nice smooth collector. Guiding your trip all the way there. And we'll do a little bit of vanilla traffic management to make sure that we don't have an unnecessary junction here. Obviously, this highway connection is going to be very beneficial. In fact, it might be so beneficial. Let's let's make it real quick. And we'll just use one of the clover leaves that comes with the game. We don't need to get overly fancy. I was going to leave this for the next one, but I think it's actually so impactful to have this highway connection that we're going to just do it right now, even if this goes a little longer than usual. Now I'll just use Freeform to make some of our connections, reestablish this. You could also use Curve Road Tool. In fact, it might be better in some instances. You'll just have to choose your side. You can make some nice connections and make this seem like it's always been here. The only thing that's really a mess is our heights. I will get that fixed in the next one because this clover leaf is it's a little much for me and I want to do something a little bit more natural in the future. Okay, and I ended up rebuilding this and it's still not perfect, but it at least connects. So this is a prime example of why you should always respect the topography. And we will respect lane mathematics here as well. Take this down and hopefully this doesn't ruin everything. It worked. <laughs> so I think that we're going to leave it here. Hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you in the next one. Please take care. Bye-bye.